yeah. check that out if you're interested. But on this one, looks like we're going to go to our next match in Losers. And we have Gotchkun versus 801 Strider. Ooh. Gotchkun, look at this man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Just want to right let everybody know that after this match, we will be at top 16. Okay. And at that point in time, 100% of the matches are going to be here on Capcom Fighters. Gotcha. So after Dogura and Nemo on Capcom Fighters 2, <laughs> okay, okay. it is going to be all over here on Capcom Fighters 1. Man, or I love... Capcom Fighters. Yes, just Capcom Fighters. I love that expression by Gachkun. <laughs> yeah. Hey! <laughs> Meanwhile, 801 Strider was not aware that they were taking the picture. He was just looking <laughs> in one direction. Somebody caught a snap of him. Well, Here 801 Strider uh, looked really good against Phenom. Was able to take him out 3-0. That was surprising. I I'm with you. That's yeah. a surprising one. Yeah. I think I mean, the surprise is that it was 3-0. You know, that's right. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. incredible. Gachkun uh, had a little bit of a different story. He beat Goichi at the start, but then was sent to losers by Tokido. Okay. Three to one, and now he has to play against Strider, who uh, lost immediately uh, against Problem X. And for those people unfamiliar with the with the way double elimination brackets work, if you get to the losers bracket, you have a much longer road, twice yes. as long uh, potentially. Uh, so, if for example, if Punk gets the grand finals and goes up against you know Nemo, like let's say he stayed in winners, he would have had twice as many matches. And so, coming into the loser side is always a rough a rough time for a lot of these guys. Well, Nemo may be about to be eliminated, too. We'll find out in a little bit. Okay. <laughs> but Kachku versus Strider now. I've been really impressed by Strider's neutral game so far this, this weekend, even though he's here in Losers. You know, uh, it's a huge, huge part of playing against any matchup, but now against Rashid with that mobility and with the good buttons he has, right. extremely important. You know, I, I, I hate to belabor this point all the time, but, you know, when you talk about, quote, work, 801 Strider comes immediately to mind because the amount of work this guy has put in and to get to this point and to be as strong, yes. Oh, that's oh gigantic. It would God. have been for the stun. Instead. Oh, okay, okay. Gachikun gets the counter. Here we go. Pressure time. Gets the counter hit, but he didn't convert off of it. That one he converts off of. There it is. Gachikun. Taking round number one. But again, the amount of work that 801 Strider has put in you know, to get to this point. Here at Capcom Cup, we saw at Canada Cup when he made top eight and he knew he had qualified, how happy he was. Mm -hmm. we, and we've talked about it before, first season of Street Fighter V. Very poor performance from 801 Strider. Okay, Gachikun battling well. But Gachikun, same kind of thing. Remember at the Red Bull Kumite, he got second place, and that's kind of what convinced him to start traveling and competing more. Well, you know, Gachikun was a strong player in SF4. Right, yeah, Everybody knew it, but he mm -hmm. just didn't come out much in right. SF5 Season mm -hmm. 1. So it was always a great player, but that was... Oh, fierce oh, one! My, that thing is... Look, Laura standing medium punch is already just a ridiculous anti-air. Yeah, it's a very good one. Not good enough, I guess. Ooh, the towards medium punch soft knockdown. The, so we could combo off of the jump. Oh, oh yeah. man, faded it out. Goes for the EX so he can... Oh, it's no. not enough. Yeah, he was hoping for the kill. He gets the throw anyway. Gotchkun was really able to chase 801 Strider a lot in that first game. Really had the pressure more consistently. Or, if you preferred, the range. But he was able to move in. And I didn't feel like Strider, Strider was defenseless, but some of his choices didn't work out as I think he had hoped. Like that stand strong anti-air. He was looking for the jump. And this he just one, didn't work out how he wanted. And this is one of the things that I do like about 801 Strider. In between every match, you always see him sit there and think about it for just a little bit. Right. He tries to process what happened exactly. There it is, that standing medium kick, of course. Such a great poke for Laura. Into the corner already. This is what Rashid does to you. This is one of the reasons why people consider him one of the strongest, if not the strongest character right now in Season 2. His ability to put you exactly where he wants you on the screen, mm. to get out of corners with EX, Eagle Spikes, you know? Well, very good defense by Gachikun. He blocked well, able to get the corner for himself again, and just like that, he's got the corner even more. Oh, okay, using the armor to get through and the side switch on that. But that's a very hard bet, and I don't think it's going to dissuade Gachikun from doing what he wants to do consistently. Mm. Yeah, just like that, right back to where he wanted to be. So Strider has had these moments of fighting. 
But they haven't lasted. It's gone right back to Gachikun's control almost immediately. Yeah, interesting enough, Gachikun, Mago, only players here at Capcom Cup unsponsored right now. Gachikun, of course, as you mentioned, strong player for such a long time. All right, good defense. Look at yeah. all that blocking. The blocking was excellent. There's a lot of gray life up there, but he's all right. Interesting that not too many command throws from 801 Strider yet. That's obviously one of the things that makes Laura so scary. Yeah, that's his style in general. He doesn't take big risks on that, mm -hmm. but he has brought it out. It hasn't been nothing. And there you see that standard light kick into the Volt Charge. That I've always considered uh, the <laughs> Gustavo. Kachkin did jump forward on Wake Up. All right. Into the corner, guess what? Got to deal with this mix-up again. Good blocks, good defense this time from 801 Strider. But he's still caught there. He's still in a bad oh, spot man. for himself. He's yes. going to get the juggle off of that. Very close to the round. Look how much life he lost. Oh, oh wow, gotcha, Goon again. <laughs> Strider has these moments where it seems like it's his turn to play, and then gotcha, Goon just puts an end to it. He takes the ball and go home. Mm -hmm. goes home. No playing for you. It has been consistent so far. He's looking very strong. His movement's been great, too. His pressure's been good, too. Man. Everything's firing. But again, just what, even, even up 2-0, you saw that exhale from, them, from him right there. Just shows you how much stress and pressure this kind of an event puts on its players. Okay, great jump timing. Yep. Gets now out he's of there. Got to make this count. Like I said, there have been these moments. Yes. Roll and escape, and I think that was an interesting idea by Strider, but didn't quite get the punish. In there again, though. Yep, and the nice thing about Laura is when you get that confirm, you can choose which side you end up on. Gachikun is so active on his own defense. Wake up shorts, we've seen wake up jump, we've seen wake up uh, EX, everything. Ah, the classic dash up. Light in the command dash into another command throw. Cautious at the start for both of them. Mmm, the cross counter. And yep, see there, keeps him on the same side. Goes with the command throw this time. Okay, not too much pressure there. Mm. But definitely Gustavo's been making a lot of, uh, getting a lot of better results in footsies with that standing light kick again. Sure, it's a big part of his game. Backs yep. off a little bit. Gotcha, Goon EX! Again. Not there. No trigger, not yet. And guess what? See? Off of that V skill, and now two sequences, you're in the corner. Even if you're blocking or get hit. Great block there. Strider still in the corner. Okay, yes, he sees it in time. Nice conversion. Oh, the counter! Stand light punch against the counter hit! So here we go, mix up. Oh, it's beautiful not enough conversion! Yet. The and jump! A neutral jump from Gachikun in the middle of that! I guess he was looking for a command grab, but it wasn't that, and he was all right anyway. All right. For One the more end. Mix up throw. No, he lives. And oh. the wake up buttons again from Gustavo takes it, and he takes game number three. Gotchkun. Yeah. Losing was, there. <laughs> Strider. He, oh, he was barely alive. I mean, with a pixel. I couldn't even see it. It was the magic pixel, but it was enough. Mm, you see him trying to whiff punish with that crouching heavy punch. Yeah. Oh, nice. Gets in there. Tries to throw out that fireball, but again, Rashid's crouching medium kick low profile. So many things. Just gets right under that Laura fireball. Just, wow. just, and as soon as she gets hit, the fireball goes away. Look at that. That was a big jump in. It was big damage. It was big movement into the corner. Gachin now has control. Yep, and halfway to stun. And again, those counter light punches from 801 Strider has really been paying off for him. Ooh, just a little too far. Gachikun countering. He's so active. Mm. Strider knows that. You can see Strider trying to find these little moments. Oh, here we go. Ah. An opportunity now. He's going to get... Oh, he goes for the damage and the knockdown instead. Oh! Is that enough? It's not. No, close to stun. He got him with that. that. He got him with the V skill, and he's just going to command throw to take that round. 801 Strider now. I usually think that overhead is fool's gold, but I love it in that instance because he was chasing. It yeah. wasn't about the overhead. It was about getting the attack up at that height, at mm -hmm. that range, and it was perfectly mm -hmm. called. So 801 Strider now with a lot of momentum here, but momentum is a is a fickle one. Switch jerseys at any point in time. 
Nice. Got the throw, and here we go. That corner pressure again. Nice throw tech. Oh, expected it to hit Gotchkun, and a little mm. error for him there. Strider taking advantage well. A lot of meter on Gotchkun's side. He's not bringing anything out of oh, patience yeah. all of a sudden from him. After such oh. activity, patience. Oh, again, again. he's going to be able to get the link off of that. So he, Laura does so much damage. Yes. Not going to be... Not gonna be able to kill. <laughs> yeah, you had to wait, didn't I you? I had All to right. check. I had to check. I was <laughs> Strider <laughs> in there, two to two, just like that. I, was that four rounds straight for 801 Strider? I think so. It was something like that. And look at the turnaround on this. The momentum is fully, squarely in 801 Strider's corner right now. Winner of this plays against Momochi next round. And everyone, once again, welcome to everyone from Capcom Fighters 2 over here. I know we've had some Taking great some matches time. over there, but we'll talk about that in a second. Oh, we're yeah. In the middle of this right now, it is two to two. Gotcha Kun looked like he was just going to steamroll this match over yeah. 801 Strider, but that's what I mean. 801 Strider, the fact that he thinks in between matches, and like I said, the workman like attitude that he has is just, it's so special, I, I believe. He's so good at that. But you know what? It could all come crashing down right now. Right, right. Gotchkun, of course, capable still. Ooh, crush counter start. All right. The Strider's finding a lot more moments. You can see it. Yeah, the, the footsies is what's helping him a lot more right now. He's, he's, the Ooh. neutral is in a, in a better favor for him now than it was earlier. Because before he would just get hit. Oh, no. Corner. Oh, no. Nice just stuff by Gotchkun. He gets the corner for himself now. Pressure. And the 801 Strider doesn't want to use that meter for the V reversal. Instead, goes for the V trigger. Here comes this pressure again. Gets In there. What an escape. It wasn't enough. Oh, gets him with a command throw finally. Gotcha Strider's Kun. very dangerous. Will there be anything from Gotcha Kun? Buttons. Yeah, Gotcha Kun's got the buttons now. Here comes the. Oh, oh EX on what? through. Projectile invulnerability. Oh, Here's the EX from Gotcha Kun as a result. Beautiful from Gotcha Kun. Now, the pressure. He has 801 Strider in the corner. Is there, yep, there's the yep. activation. Oh, interesting neutral jump from Strider. Oh, gotcha has got in there, taking advantage of the tornado, but the tornado just ran out. Oh, again, the crouching life punch from 801 Strider. Five rounds in a row. And now 801 Strider is at match point. Very quick turnaround. <laughs> Very solid, too. Okay. But not a counter hit, so not going to be able to do anything off of that. Patience from Strider in that mid range. Gotchkun tries oh, to find moments, man. but then Strider didn't even press the button for a while. But he stabbed it in exactly the right moment. Here he gets again another big Close opportunity for himself. Actually, that's going to be a stun. It's okay. not death yet. Okay. There's another yeah, yeah, mix up. Yeah, yeah. Gotchkun uh -huh. remains Forward. alive. Oh, 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 oh! So he goes for the setup instead. Oh, dashes in there and great awareness from Gotchkun to get the back throw. But there's no V trigger for Rashid. But look at how much critical art he has. Oh yeah, he's very dangerous for sure. But he's got to get into particular spots for that to be relevant. Strider, what does he get? Ooh, okay, empty jump into a throw. Strider still sitting on that V-Trigger. Still has about half of that V-Trigger left for himself. Gotchkun is caught. Oh, he's going to get hit by that. Yes. Oh, wake up. Oh, jab. wake up jab again from 801 Strider. And he takes it three games in a row. Being down 0-2 and he comes all the way back. Gustavo 801 Strider continues to march forward here at Capcom Cup. It was looking rough after those first two games, but what an adaptation. What a change. It honestly just looked like it was just going to be such a steamroll all of a sudden. Yeah. But here we go, the wake-up light punch off of a knockdown here. Uh, oh, no, no. No, this is when that was that last yeah, little that's pixel, right, that's and it right. was enough. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then there was one bad eagle spike there. I don't know if that was an execution error or what happened with Gotchku, where, why that came out, and then there it was again. Yeah, now. again, I love that chase. I thought that was yeah. very smart. So we know the top 16. Ooh, we're halfway there to the top eight now. So That's Oops. right. That's right. There was the final blow. In winners, Daigo versus Mena RD, and Moke versus Itabashi Zangief. Also, Tokido versus Bonchan and Yukadon versus Luffy. Nice. In loser's side, Punk versus Sien and Momochi versus 801 Strider. On the other side of losers, Problem X versus Fudo and then Didimokov, who eliminated Kazunoko 3 to 2. Two years in a row, Kazunoko, remember, uh, top three here yes. at Capcom Cup. He won it and then he got third.
it's not going to happen this year for him. Yeah, we're looking through the winner's side, as you can see on Didi your screen Mokoff. right here, taking a look at everything. Yeah, Didi Mokoff of Brazil winning the last chance qualifiers, making it here, and it just taking names while winning he's the, here. Uh, the Latin American regional. Yes, the, 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 the re sorry, not the last chance qualifiers, the regional. Yes, right. That is correct. And there's, there's the look at the loser. So Nemo eliminated Dogura. Some people thought Dogoro was going to take this whole thing, and that was not a wild call. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, that, there was a lot of reason behind that, but no, it's not going to happen for him one and two overall. Yeah, and a lot of people have talked about Dogoro surpassing Nemo as the premier Urian, but well, you know what? <laughs> you you got to say in retrospect that that may have been because Nemo wasn't coming out to many things for a while. <laughs> we just didn't get a chance to look at him very right. often. But again, that's the top 16. Coming up shortly, you know, we, we have, we know who went 0-2, we know who went 1-2. Now we've got to get a little bit deeper into this thing. And some of those folks who went 0-2, maybe not the people you thought. Haitani <laughs> among them, Phenom among them, Smug, Oil King, Verloren, Ricky Ortiz, Brolinho, and Big Bird all oh, went 0-2. Win, uh, winless, matchless. Yep. But uh, again, top 16, we are going to get to our top 8 and find out who is going to be playing at the PlayStation Experience on Sunday, tomorrow. Don't go anywhere. Our final matches are coming up.